to start with second PUC uh, um, chemical kinetics lesson in chemistry in school 90 plus uh, series so this is also a physical chemistry lesson uh, so as usual it has a 5 marks then 2 marks then 1 marks I think in this lesson there is no 2 marks question there will be a 1 mark question only so in 5 marks uh, see uh, first order and zero order derivation they may ask uh, then a new money uh, uh, see part a there is two uh, questions if they ask they should ask the first order or zero order reaction or numerical based on rns equation uh, numericals based on rns equation this two topic uh, they may ask in uh, there are very less uh, numericals in rns equation in example in ncrt so you can go through that next part b you see in part b they may ask many questions because uh, uh, there is no two marks separate mean but uh, in five marks you can split in three marks and two marks so in this uh, two marks they will ask so many questions so half life uh, derivation or some numerical based on half life uh, most of the time they ask uh, derivations but sometimes uh, they may ask uh, uh, numericals then graph effect of cap uh, catalyst temperature dependence graph so the, like that uh, uh, collision frequency and factor affecting collision what is collision frequency and factors affecting collision frequency like that they may ask uh, many two marks uh, uh, so you know part a question carries how much marks three marks part b carries two marks then uh, two marks question i told there is no question of two marks so if they ask also uh, something uh, according to the last year grouping there's no two marks uh, to this question but this year if they include also they should pick two marks from year only so they can pick the two marks questions from year only so you have to not break ahead for this uh, two mark uh, so we will go for the one mark see one mark unit of rate constant table 4.3 in your ncrt textbook you should see table 4.3 uh, in uh, ncrt textbook you have to uh, see then zero order first order reaction half life half life of zero order reaction half life of first order reaction these two they will ask sometimes temperature independence graph uh, temperature dependence graph and the definition of collision frequency De uh, definition of uh, see these are the most important one mark question uh, because uh, in uh, physics chemistry uh, we cannot see the, uh, they may ask one mark uh, this questions only but uh, these are the most frequently asked topics and uh, most frequently asked questions so i picked up the rest. so we'll quickly recall what and what we study in five marks we saw part a and part b part a they may ask two questions one, first first order zero order derivation on numericals based on rns equation part b there are many questions which have to go through i have uh, told what are the important questions graphs is most important then collision frequency factor affecting then off life these three are most important there is no, according to the last year uh, blueprint there is no two marks to the question but if they ask also they should uh, ask from here itself part b two marks if they include this year uh, in blueprint so then uh, in one marks um, units of rate constant you should go in NCRT table 4.3 then zero order first order reaction temperature independent uh, uh, collision frequency see this is a very easy lesson uh, to go through this uh, you can score easily five marks uh, then one mark so how much marks it carries total it carries six marks five marks one question yeah because that is here five marks one question two marks is not there so two marks which is not there so then one mark so total it carries five plus one six marks so if you go through this five marks will be fixed one marks also most probably it will be fixed if you run the ncrt once it will be more than enough uh, uh. so uh, until then uh, keep doing the revision of uh, previous uh, lessons uh, thank you